Hey everyone, this is Art Gelwix. I've gotten a lot of good responses to the posting I made about a sample progress bar layout within Notion. So I figured I'd record a quick video and post it and show you how I put it together. Now, I'll admit right away, this is not totally my idea. Notion VIP put out the original layout for how to create these progress bars. I just put my own spin on it. So we're gonna look at two different aspects of this. One is the progress bar section itself here, this column that's indicating the status as it moves through its life cycle. And you can see here that based on these stages, and there's five stages that I've defined in this one, these five stages, if you think about it as a 100% progression, you've got 20%, 40, 60, 80, and 100, starting with payment processing all the way through delivered. What I have then is I have a formula column that is calculating and doing if comparisons based on the values in the fulfillment stage column. So if we look here, for example, we see fulfillment stage is equal to payment processing. It uses a green circle and four red. Those green and red circles are emoji. On Windows, it's Windows period, and you're able to go to the emoji picker, choose the emojis you want, and drop them in. All I'm doing is populating that display block with the correct items to display at that level of the progression. So you can see if it happens to be payment cleared, which would be the equivalent of the 40%, you have two green dots filled in, and so on and so forth. Because with Notion, you only have to fill out this formula one time in a column, as soon as you do that, it applies to all the rows in a column. The other thing that's nice is I like the fact that it is dynamic. You, it immediately takes effect. So if I change this back to payment processing, it's one dot. If I kick it up to shipped, it goes to four dots. So it's real-time updates, and if you're sharing this with multiple people, everybody sees what's going on. The second thing is this KPI column. Now the KPI column actually has a couple of steps that have to go to it. First, you, you'll notice that I'm running three color indicators. What it's doing is it's determining how far overdue the items in this listing are. So first, I needed to use the due date column, or I created a due date column and provided dates for it. The second thing is I have a property called SLA KPI that's currently hidden. So if we unhide that, you'll see that it's generating values, one, seven, zero, negative one, negative four. This is a formula column again. In this case, the formula is using the date between parameter, comparing the due date to now, giving us a number of days remaining. And based on that, I'm using the same principle as I did with my key, or my progressive progress bar column I'm using for the KPI, but here it's much simpler because it's only if it's greater than two days, it's green. If it's equal to two days, it's yellow. And if it's less than two days, it's red, giving me an immediate indicator as to how close to overdue I am on any of these items. I prefer to hide this calculation column just because the numbers don't help me any if I'm using the KPIs. I might want to know how far overdue I am, but for my purposes, it's just a matter of showing that it's overdue. So those two ways you can apply to any sort of Notion table for determining or showing status changes based on other columns and their values.